Good afternoon everybody, it's Friday afternoon, welcome back to the channel and to uh, to this which is part 17 of the uh, DR Motorsport uh, Club Sport Edition uh, project. So uh, today is a really good day, I've just been and uh, collected a couple of bits for the project, uh, the first, first of which is the seemingly rare gates cam belt and tensioner kit for the MI16 engine so there's no more no looking for alternative parts and as part of the voyage I have also discovered uh, an alternative belt and which alternative uh, tensioners will do so um, I've kind of future proofed it, proofed it as well. So, um, so yeah, I'm really chuffed about that. Um, I've also bought the diff seals, genuine Persia stuff. Don't want to put any 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 old rubbish on there. So uh, happy days. So um, to keep everything tidy, I kind of like to put things back in back on the engine, so they don't get trodden on or they don't get things falling on them etc 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 so uh, it's not looking too shabby at the minute and um, just a case of uh, cracking on with it really uh, fitting the, uh, the Campbell kit on it but uh, I'm not uh, I'm not going to do that uh, um, at the minute uh, I've got a couple of other jobs to do first um, which is basically uh, finishing off sanding the um, cam cover and as you can see on the floor here the slam panel so I've got to get those right and uh, and sort it out uh, just earlier on I thought I had it recording but I did but uh, I've split the Genvies from the uh, manifold inlet manifold the genvy longman manifold um it's had a good scrub over with g101 and uh, of course uh, the uh, revelation really uh, the race glaze alley bright metal deoxidizer um, and also um very a few minutes ago I've used the raised glaze uh, jet lac just to seal things up a little bit better. So yeah, very good start. One of the best starts to any videos I've done so far. In as much as I've got got hold of a, a bit of kit that could have caused me some issues and has and still is causing some people issues by all accounts. So uh, I will catch up with you in a minute Good morning welcome to the channel just had a shout from uh, Colin Williams the uh, the chap that's uh, just painting the 205 for me and uh, he's uh, he's got the car all in primer so we're gonna pop over there and uh, do a quick uh, bit of videoing there so uh, can't wait to see it in the flesh. Um, he's worked uh, really, really uh, hard over the last week and this weekend especially. So really, really looking forward to seeing the, uh, the progress on the on the on the two five. So uh, yeah, really, really buzzing this morning. Absolutely. So uh, it's all going uh, particularly well. Uh, got a 
wanted to do this week, rocket cover, slam panel to flat down as well, um, paint it, uh, paint the rocket cover. Um, so we're going to collect the, uh, the paint today for the rocket cover. A nice, uh, nice bright red. It's uh, it's going to go uh, rouge for longer. Obviously, a Peugeot colour. No, the rest of the car won't be a Peugeot colour, but. Uh, there we go, can't have everything, so uh, I'll catch you in a bit. Well, here we are, Cole's place. It's in primer. Cole started uh, flattening it down ready. It's got guide coats on it. Uh, basically, the uh, you have to go all the way down to the metal. There's just numerous layers of paint on it. Three layers of paint, and uh, so back down to bare metal on the on the shell, and uh, it's had a coat of etch primer to promote uh, adhesion to the metal and it's had two coats of uh, high build primer and obviously now it's got, got the guide coat on there so as you can see bolts started on this rear quarter and the tailgate obviously the uh, the windows being removed and uh, it's looking pretty sweet I'm getting very very excited now for the uh, for the outcome. Can't wait to put it back together. So uh, yeah, really really happy. Really really happy. Well, that's that then. Coming back from uh, from Colin's place and uh, just absolutely. Chef, and how it's looking, even in primer, it's looking really, really, really good. Uh, the probably the, the video probably won't do it justice, but um, but yeah, yeah, it's looking really good. What I've decided to do really is uh, do a little bit of a, of a standalone video on the on the, some of the stuff that. that Colin does and uh, he's, he's got a couple of interesting cars in at the minute um, so I've, I've recorded some footage of uh, showing on with that he's got a chap that, uh, that goes there and puts uh, the cars back together uh, the competition cars certainly and uh, so I've just briefed it to be with him a chap called Ben and uh, so yeah basically uh, Really happy and really excited now to uh, to get the car back and uh, start putting it back together because I've got loads of ideas about plumbing for the engine and stuff running around in my head. So I just want to really just get tucked in with that one. But uh, well that's it for the, for the minute. Now uh, the, 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 ne the next bit we're going to be uh, installing the cam belt on the engine. Grappling with the uh, cam cover, flattening it down, build primering it, and also um, painting it red. Uh, the slam panel is also going to be flattened, uh, flattened. 
and that's going to be painted a, a nice uh, satin black uh, colour. So we've uh, there's plenty, plenty left to come in this video. So uh, see you in a bit. Welcome back. Right now it's uh, time to uh, put the cam belt on the engine. So. Uh, once I put the cam belt on the engine, I can then carry on with uh, finishing to prep the cam cover, uh, the slam panel, which is on top there, and we can uh, then get on with cleaning the, the, the genries, the throttle bodies. So uh, what I'll do with this one, I'll put you on a time lapse, um, whilst I put the cam belt on, pretty simple really. Uh, pin in each cam in the inlet, uh, inlet and exhaust. I've made a tool that fits in to here to set the crank timing on. So you basically feed the, the belts onto the cam sprockets, bring it round the tensioner, round the cam, round the water pump, other tensioner, and round. And obviously you've got to make sure that the belt is in the direct, the correct um, direction i.e. on the belt you have the arrows and of course the marks for the uh, cam pulleys so I'll see you in a minute That's uh, that's these are uh, down now. I just need to talk them up to 25 newton meters. Uh, I've had numerous rotations of the of the uh, engine now. I'm quite happy with the tension on the belts. No slack, no slops around anywhere. And uh, pretty much uh, where it was now, similar to the one I took off. There's uh, decent tension on it, so. Happy days on that one. I'll give it more and more rotation. Should have taken the plugs out for this one, but I didn't. Never mind. Um, and I've just uh, that's gone straight in. Happy days. Good on the inlet and exhaust. So I'll put those on there. And I'll give it a quick rotation again. Of course, with this being slightly higher compression, it's a, a bit of a bit of a job to turn this. So, on the marks, on the keyway here. Happy days. So, uh, I'm just gonna. I've already adjusted the torque wrench. I'm gonna put the square drive in, just so I can uh, just to make sure that this doesn't move. That one. Another good spin round just to make sure. Once again, just one last check. I'm like, okay, so I think we're pretty much there on that. That's there. That's a slight nudge back, actually. There we go. Put it on there. One 
one final check on these. That's in. And that's in. Belt's in the right direction. Last confidence one. Happy days. That's on the line. That's lined up. Yep. Happy with that. That's a wrap. Right. It's time to put the uh, cam covers on now. Then. So, with these. Obviously, you've got a slot in here to. Uh, Get the timing sorted. Obviously, when the when the engine's in shit, you you're not too bad. Uh, two two screws, and two bolts holding uh, these bits in. And then we've got these uh, grooved grooved uh, cap bolts we'll go in here and uh, basically. Uh, what they do is hold the bottom end in of the uh, the main cam cover. A really good idea, so you can remove remove it when you when the cam belt change in situ. Tighten that down. Ultimately, uh, basically, these two chamfered bits in here slide down and over these, they hook down over, and you've got a, a slide locking mechanism in there that goes into the slots in these posts. So, uh, basically, slot those over that, and there, that's solid enough. Close those two uh, cap bolts in. This then goes in into here. I need to push this one in a little bit actually to uh, be able to come over the door a bit. There we go. Bit of a tricky one. So I'll pull it out just to get over. Same with that one. That's that locked in. I'll just put a bit of a such a paintbrush on that one. Uh, that's that one done. Basically, I need to close these two. Be careful not to mark the uh, cam cover. that one nice and secure. This one next. Okay, so it's that one down. And that one. 
So, right, time to put the pulley on. Can't put the end off, can't really put this on the wrong way. You've got a dowel in here, it goes into there. And the, uh, the four bolts go in at the bottom. Oops. And this goes in there, the same, that one there. Use this to wind them down. So I'll just use this, put it through in here into the engine so it doesn't uh, spin. And of course, if you're tightening these. These, this type of arrangement in. Always make sure you go in and do it diametrically opposite. By that I mean crisscross. If you're doing a wheel, putting a wheel on a car, go crisscross. Make sure everything's pulled down evenly. And uh, so in that, I'll give it some other quicker paint, coat of paint anyway. And uh, that one there. And of course I'll uh, that's done and dusted. I'll top that down now. I think this is also 25 meter meters. Belts all set, timed, checked, triple checked, quadruple checked, tensioners all torqued down, um, and uh, basically cam cover in, pulley down. So now we'll put the uh, fan belt in, alternator belt. Uh, when, I, when I bought this, the chap had put a brand new belt on, no need to change this really. So. Uh, We'll do is we'll go and uh, fit this in, back that off, and uh, adjust this accordingly. Almost there. Okay, now then, that's that's in there. I'll do this. Uh, should be using the top ends first, really. Let's get the ratchet. We um, need to get some uh, some proper racking for the uh, the tools, sockets, and everything are moving around like mad in there. Okay, so yeah, happy with that. It's not too tight. So that way. Right, bit a bit, a little bit of touching up to do. Nothing major. But uh, we'll talk time up or time. What I tend to do as I'm going along, especially if I'm building the engine, so. Uh, how is it? I always leave a mark in there. Let's have a look. Where is it gone? Right, there we go. Yep, basically everything that's been it's been tightened up. I have done that one. So that's been done. So I'll put a little mark on them and that's done. I'll paint that one. 
basically it's a quick uh, a quick uh, reference to say that I've I've done them this is something I've got from uh, from the uh, aerospace times I work both military and um, civil aviation as a propulsion technician production fitter um, so I built uh, quite a few Rolls Royce uh, aircraft engines but uh, that's that's another subject altogether so so yeah everything now has been tightened um, I just need to double check this one here uh, it's basically uh, it's, it's, uh, it's fine, but yeah, but just need to make sure that this is closed down this is a little bit big this time but just a bit of a run now I need to double check that one and uh, there, 21 possibly, and 21, yeah, we're at 21 mil on that. So there we go, doesn't really need to be any tighter than that. Right, okay, so that's that bit done. Happy days, so I'll clean the uh. Clean the Genvies next, I think. Actually, move, match the move the plan around, and I'll get get the cam covers and some panel done in a bit. So, uh, so the idea is I can clean the Genvies. Whilst I do the other bits, they'll dry off, and uh, we're another step closer to finishing the engine and uh, getting it back in the car. See you in a minute. Right, welcome back. Now the uh, cam cover has been painted. Nice uh, shiny coat of paint, and you've guessed it, it's a nice coat of uh, Rouge Velunga, or otherwise known as Cherry Red. It's got a gun for the brightest possible shade of it, and uh, it's almost finished i'm not quite sure what to do with the ribs and the 16 valve yet um i might they might go black not quite sure uh we'll see because the black might tie in nicely with the uh ignition lead covers i'm not sure yet everything's refitted now um uh, the manifolds uh fit, loosely fitted really just waiting for the thermotech uh, in it manifold gasket to arrive the throttle bodies to uh, the manifold are now talked all everything's talked down I've ordered some some button top um, Allen keep Allen bolts for these in stainless steel I've ordered the whole set of these in stainless steel uh, well that's a wrap for this evening cam covers drying off nicely and the, uh, the slam panel has been painted and, uh, and it's nice and shiny ready to go back on the car now so uh, yeah it's getting really really quite quite exciting now um, gearing up to uh, to getting the car back um, Cole's got to do he's, he's going to be painting the car tomorrow and he's got some final preparations to do on the doors and the bonnet um, all of which will probably have to go back down to bare metal X primed and again um, high build primed and uh, and all the rest of it so um, but yeah that's it for uh, another week thanks to everybody who subscribed if you haven't yet please think about subscribing and uh, remember to click the little bell to follow up on all the uh, updates on the channel and uh, like I said at the uh, earlier on in the video I'll be doing a, um, a separate video on on, the, on some of the, the work that, that Colin does and uh, the work he did for me on the on the 106 um, which is you know really really impressive so uh, I'll catch you next week and uh, stay safe everybody and uh, see you next week.